Hello, welcome to PC Jack. On 5th of October 2021, Windows 11 will officially be rolled out and you may be considering upgrading yourself. So you've downloaded the Windows 11 PC Health Check app and you've been greeted by this. Your PC cannot run Windows 11 and you must enable TPM 2.0. Now it's worth double checking your system specs to ensure they meet the minimum requirements that Microsoft have set out for Windows 11. But if you're running a Ryzen system on an MSI 400 or 500 series motherboard, then today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can enable TPM 2.0 in the BIOS. So what you'll need to do is that you'll need to download the PC Health Check app from Microsoft and it will allow you to do a uh, quick test to see if you are actually eligible to upgrade to Windows 11 when it arrives. So if we click check now, what you may see is this. This PC doesn't currently meet Windows 11 system requirements. And as you can see here it says TPM 2.0 must be supported and enabled on this PC. Now it's worth going through the results as well just to make sure everything else is uh, meeting the minimum requirements for it. So as you can see on here, we need to have Secure Boot enabled. We need to have a processor that supports Windows 11, which is from Ryzen 2000 series and onwards. We need at least 4GB of system memory, so most people shouldn't have any problems with that whatsoever. Boot driver at least 64GB or larger. The one I'm using is a 250GB one, so shouldn't have any problems. We need to have two or more cores. Again, that's probably not a problem for most people. And we need a processor clock speed of 1GHz or faster. That shouldn't be any problem. The only one that I think that a lot of people will see flagged up is going to be that TPM 2.0. So what we're going to want to do is get into the BIOS in order to enable that on our MSI motherboard. So you can boot into the system and mash delete to get into the BIOS or if you're already in the desktop you can do what I do which is hold shift, go down and press restart and keep holding shift and you'll be greeted by this menu here so we want to go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and UEFI firmware settings and we click restart and that will take us directly into the BIOS here we go, so we're in the MSI click BIOS and the next bit we're going to want to do is to go to security and then go down to trusted computing and then security device support we want to enable and we should have AMD CPU FTPM selected on there so with that enabled we should now be able to save changes and reboot here we go, so we're back in the desktop now, so if we go back to the PC Health Check app, we can click check again, and there we have it, the system is now able to run Windows 11. So, that's it for today's video, if you found it useful, then please feel free to like and subscribe for more videos on the way soon, thank you, I'll see you next time.